welcome back to another episode guys now in the previous episode we were just discussing token gating and how we can reward players based on whether or not they own certain nfts or hold certain nfts within their wallet now today we'll be going ahead and we'll be actually rewarding players well in this case this player for owning a fat cat with a free strange cats token so what we can do is first things first let's get right into it we used a, a read uh, method in the previous or read call in the previous episode to read information from the blockchain and today we'll be doing a, a write so function to read uh, strange cat great so let's go public async I don't know min strange cat okay, that's quite a lengthy function and something seems really odd here let me just double check this real quick da, 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 da. yes i'm locked up sorry that's my bad let's just go back here there we go it's a little bit better all right great so because it is just a, another write method we can go straight into it and grab our code from before there we go Smack that in here. Oh, okay. Let's do. Hmm. Let's call it mincat. Don't want to struggle too much with it. Uh, and because that is a right method, there are a few bits of details we have to um, enter in here, like the chain ID. Again, this can be your chain. Just go to chainless.org. I'll just mention that here. channelist.org they have like heaps of chains and all the chain ids chain networks and all that sort of fun stuff um i'll probably put that link in the description below for you guys as well just to go through it um the value can remain zero because it's not a native currency nor is it a payable function um and the string method here will be safe mint because again we're just looking at we're looking at this one here the safe mint there we go we'll be doing this one and because it's a read uh, right sorry it's quite late here um, because it's a right we can um, we can go nuts and, and use this information here so let's go ahead we can go in here we'll be changing a few of these things out because v to account I don't think we do a, no we don't do amount because it's it's not ERC 1155 so we can do token ID we can do token ID will be Where is the contract manager? Contract manager dot strange cat. The token ID for the strange cat just being two over here. There we go. And then the last bit here will be the token URI. So the metadata for the token. Um, so we can go string token URI. And don't get me wrong. I'm very statically hard coding this stuff in here, but you don't have to hard code this in here. You can dynamically fit this from a player with IPFS storage and stuff like that, and we'll get into that later. But for now, let's just stick to the to the easy stuff. Uh, token URI is that address there, and then um, just just to go back on this, this isn't required, but it does give value to your NFT. It tells the world in the blockchain that you know your cat is fat or the color is green or is this rare yes it is rare like it, it's key values it's super important to to be able to read that stuff later on as well um so let me just do a little case on this one um same stuff except this is nft this is nft uh, and we'll be, we'll be actually be passing. It's super important to know that we are passing the the token ID. Um, I want to say I think it's int to j. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll just give it a sec. Oh, all right, cool. Um, let's just do this one here. Uh, oh, okay. Now I know why. So this has to be the token ID. Uh, let me just double check this on so it's to what where okay 
two token ID, you're right, two token ID, you're right. All right, great. So to the account, the token ID, which is actually this, I should probably just use this one here. Then the token, you're all right, cool. Now, hopefully that all looks good. And because it's a right as well, we need to specify the gas. Leaving it, um, it's optional. Leave it blank, MetaMask will sort out the rest. It's really good, just, just don't even worry about it. Um, and then we have to send a transaction. So that is the difference between a read and a write as well. We have to actually send a transaction. So let's go NFT contract, here we go. And we'll just mention here that if it is a success, if the mint is successful, token has been minted. If it was not, we'll just say there's an issue with the transaction. Um, an issue with minting. Maybe just be a little bit more specific. <laughs> but what we'll do then, uh, we'll actually, let's have a look. Mint and we'll say, look, okay, if this has been minted, we're gonna do uh, strange cat status dot text equals uh, the player. Actually, let's do caps. I think caps might be better. The player owns the strange cat NFT. We'll make uh, we'll make the text we'll make a text green as well. Not in caps, sorry. All right, cool. So it's it's just some some Donkey Kong wallet validation here, saying that if the mint is successful on chain, it will debug, so we know it has worked. But it will also give us a visual uh, feed. It will also the the twelve o'clock, very late. It will also give us um, visual feedback in Unity to let the player know that they own the NFT. Um, again, I, I'm working on a bit of a demo and I'll show you guys that later because there is like a real flow to it and once you understand the flow, um, then any game will be like pretty good. So we'll get to that though. Um, but then if it does fail, we'll just debug the lock saying that there was an issue minting the NFT. Alright, so moment of truth. Let's have a look. Let's go to the, the strange NFT here. The event system, it's fine. Uh, strange cat. Make sure to drag your event, or well, the uh, object of a script into there. And we'll go min cat, all right. Well, here we go, let's give it a shot, shall we? First flow, connect the wallet. Cool. Unity is going to check that wallet to see if the owner of the fat cat is us. If it is us, execute whatever it needs to execute. If it's not us, then well, it should tell us that like we aren't the owners of uh, of the NFT. Let me just see why it's being so stubborn. I have to actually click on the window. Okay, give it a moment. Cool, we own the cat. Great, which means we can mint. So let's go ahead and mint. And we'll just see if it goes. Look at that. Safe mint. We're doing a safe mint. We're going to confirm it. Go back to Unity. And we own the Strange Cat NFT. Um, you guys probably won't be able to see this, but you can see here that the token has been minted. So it's debug.log telling us it's minted it. And we now own both the Fat Cat and the Strange Cat. Um, but for now, I hope that this was super helpful, um, especially given you guys know now, uh, now know. ERC20 and ERC721, so NFTs and tokens, um, and fetching data, interacting with a smart contract, reading information, writing information, um, rewarding players. Um, I mean, if you've made it this far, you should have so much knowledge on this, but as per usual, you know, my door's always open. Leave me comments, leave me questions. I'm more than happy to answer and get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this, and I'll probably see you guys in the next video.